Hey you, what's up mga ka-otap? This is Otterworks and welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka sa channel ko, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the red button and the notification bell para updated ka sa mga future uploads ko. In today's episode, we're going to unbox the Star Wars Black Series Seat Trooper. And a big shout out again to Wooji para sa pagpapahiram ng figure na to para i-review natin ngayong episode. And before we start unboxing and review, we're going. I'm going to tell you first a quick uh, background of this seat trooper. Seat troopers were elite soldiers in an army raised on the planet Exego by the Seat Eternal, Seat cultists who reverbed the dark side of the Force and were devoted to the Seat region. Though they were not imbued with the power of the Force, Sea Troopers nonetheless shared the name and the vibe set of the Dark Side, drawing inspiration from the Dark and Asian legacy. As such, their red armor was reminiscent of Sith lightsaber blades and the Imperial Light, invoking an hour of fear and death. They were the culmination of an elaboration continuously meant to ensure the internal region of a new Sith Empire, returning the galaxy to a dark age of a thousand years past. In addition to their namesake, Sith troopers drew inspiration from one of the most enduring symbols of military might, armored infantry units. During the Clone Wars, the image of endless legions of white armored clone troopers symbolized hope to the citizen of the Galactic Republic. The Galactic Empire and the First Order appropriated this heritage in turn, transforming a symbol of defense into a faceless icon of fascist rule. The Empire spent decades attempting to strip individuality from Imperial Stormtroopers, whereas First Order Stormtroopers were trained from childhood to even more loyal and effective. Sea Troopers were fanatically loyal to the Sea cause surpassing their predecessors in allegiance and obedience as a result of methods built upon and advanced beyond the Kiminoan procedures that trained the Republic's clone army. The best of Sith troopers were elevated to the rank of Sovereign Protector, forming a cohort of loyal guards stationed in the Sith Citadel and the amphitheater housing the throne of the Sith. And that's our quick background story of Seed Trooper. Let's now go ahead and unbox and review the Star Wars Black Series Seed Trooper. So let's go ahead and check the box first. So we have a huge window in the front. So makita natin Seed Trooper, Star Wars logo sa taas, sa baba. Makita natin yung artwork. At number 92 siya. Sa side and top at the bottom at sa likod. so we have here uh, some description of the seat trooper if you want to read this you can pause it right now so here's our seat trooper looking good sa all red nya so before we check the figure itself let's go and check the accessory na kasama nya so we have here a gun di to sure kung anong tawag sa mga gun nila pero eto Alam, focus lang natin yung camera. So, as we can see, meron tayong 3 different colors sa gun na to. So, sa nozzle niya meron tayong silver, meron tayong matte black, at red para sa details niya, sa detailing niya. Other side, same. Teka, focus natin yung camera. Okay. So, ayan. So, makikita natin na napakaganda ng dito. Simple, simple lang, pero... Malakas naman yung dating dahil doon sa matte black at red nya. And the other gun, so we have here, same, uh, matte black at red combination with a bit of silver. Kapokos at natin yung camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, Taka lang, kumapokus dun sa gun. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So yes, uh, as you can see again, so we have three different colors, black, red, and silver. 
So, napakaganda ng details niya. Very simple lang, pero malakas yung dating dahil doon sa gloss color ng red. Okay, so let's now go ahead and check uh, the seat trooper itself. And let's take a closer look. Okay, tika lang, focus lang natin yung camera. Okay, so, well, napakaganda ng seat trooper na to. So, as you can see, meron siya mga detailing na lines sa buong katawan niya halos. Uh, sa shoulder, meron din tayo makikita. Uh, not sure kung nakikita nyo dito, uh, guy, parang hindi siya masyado visible dito sa uh, camera. Pero kung makikita nyo siya sa personal, is napakaganda yung namang, na, na mga lines na nakalagay sa details ng katawan niya. So, as you can see here, Okay, so meron siyang mga linings. So, siguro kung may mga, uh, kung lalagyan natin ito ng panel wash para lumitaw lalo yung mga detailing niya, siguro mas maganda lalo. Pero overall, napakaganda ng detailing niya. Very well sculpted. And as you can see dito sa arm niya, nakapokus natin. Okay, so meron mga detailings din dito sa arm niya. So, as you can see, meron siya mga detailing. Pero sa kabilang side, is napakasimple lang. At the back, we also have detailings. Uh, ito yung uh, normal, or ito yung sa seat trooper na mga lines sa likod. And on the back, or on the front, sorry. So, napakangganda. Uh, marami talaga siyang lining na hindi na masyado kita siguro dito sa camera. I'm not sure kung nakikita nyo. Pero kung meron siyang panel wash, siguro lilitaw lahat ng mga linings na yan. And overall, napakaganda naman yung detailing niya at napaka movie accurate niya. So, as you can see, napaka uh, angas at nakakatakot kumpara do sa mga stormtrooper na all white. So, that's it for our detailing for the seat trooper. And let's now go ahead and check the articulation naman. So, let's go ahead and check the head for the articulation. So, for the articulation of the head, very minimal lang talaga. So, hindi natin siya ma-tilt up. So, wala siyang tilt up. Wala rin siyang uh, tilt down. So, very minimal lang yung pag niya. So, wala tayong masyadong movement. Even tilt side by side, wala. Pero, marorotate natin siya side by side. And for the uh, side arm, or for the arm, So, mara-raise natin siya sidewards hanggang ganito. So, we just need to adjust the armor sa shoulder. And we can have 360 rotation. At wala tayong butterfly joint. Pero, that's okay. So, make it uh, forward and back naman natin siya. So, as you can see, mayroon naman siya movement kahit na pano. And wala tayong bicep swivel or rotation. Yun lang. And for the but for the shoulder or for the knee or for the elbow, we can have the uh, single jointed elbow. Okay, focus lang natin. But we also have rotation. Parang yung mga joints ng female Marvel Legends sa so meron tayong rotation sa arm. And for the hands, meron din tayong uh, 360 rotation forward and back. Okay, and for the body, so for the body, we don't have up crunch. So, very minimal lang yung forward and forward niya. But for the back, we can lean back up to this one. And we can rotate side by side. Uh, wala tayong waist swivel. But, and for the legs, we can split up to this one. And, let's, okay, so, sorry, let's focus the camera first. Okay, and we have only have minimal thigh, upper thigh and kick forward up to this one, kick backwards, and we also have double jointed knee hanggang ganito. So, grab yung sagad ng bend ng knee niya. Okay, that's for the knee. Lata yung uh, swivel, boot rotation, wala rin. And forward ng feet hanggang ganito lang sa gad niya. And back hanggang ganito. At meron tayong rocker side by side. Okay, so that's the articulation for the seat trooper. And for the size comparison of the seat trooper, let me go ahead and grab my ruler first. Okay. So, to seat troopers 
Kalimantan hanggang let check almost six and a half inches. So almost six and a half inches yung size or yung height ng seat trooper na to. And let's compare him to other figures. Keep focus lang natin. Okay, so we have here Marble Legends Night Crawler. And we have Mayfex uh, Bruce Wayne. So overall, fit naman siya sa size uh, ng 6 inches scale. So okay naman yung height difference nila ng Marble Legends at ng Mayfex. So nakaayos yun. So that's it for the size comparison of this seat group. And there you have it mga kaotap, that's our unboxing and review for this Star Wars Black Series Seat Trooper. Overall, napakaganda niya at napaka movie accurate naman niya. So siguro, lagyan lang natin ng konting wash para lumabas yung other details niya. Pero overall, napakaganda naman niya. At siguro, napakaganda nito pag bumuo kayo ng uh, army ng mga Seat Trooper. Siyempre, napakaangas nun. Tapos, tatabi nyo siya sa mga seat trooper nyo ng army ng mga puti, yung mga storm trooper. Siguro, napakaganda nun sa collection nyo. But, uh, well, I think that's it. So, I hope guys you enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red button and the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga future uploads ko. And, again, thank you for watching. Keep safe. And, see you on my next video.